Uh, this is the thing I gotta say. A lot of people be like, look like Sharice chewing with her tongue. She like, tongue, tongue. Uh, honey, I didn't say that I don't have no good teeth, okay? I didn't say my teeth is raggedy. I didn't say that, uh, all back here, they're not in good shape, okay? It look like I'm chewing my tongue? Then I am, I guess. But why does that bother you? You know what I'm saying? That it's so bad that somebody chewed it. Some people might chew it. Some people like... <laughs> Some people like chew like on the side. You know, I be trying to get the good teeth, trying to get a good bite in. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I do what I got to do. You know? But I say like this. If you don't like my mukbangs, don't watch. Hey, my grubbies. Time to grow with Sharice. Oh, Today we're coming with a mukbang, y'all. I made a homemade meal. We have a baked pork chop. We have some mashed potatoes, okay? And we have some breadsticks. So let's get into this video. It is time to grub. Who ready? I'm ready, okay? On the side here, I got some honey. Let's eat, okay? Let's give God some glory. I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing awesome, y'all. Thank you all for the people who pray for us while we're gone from the storm. Even though the storm didn't come to like Charles this time, thank you, Jesus. It did affect a lot of people in Louisiana, so I'm praying for them as well. Thank y'all so much again. Let's eat. I keep saying that because I'm so hungry, and this is looking so good, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all everything about the food as I'm eating it. And we're going to get into this video, okay? All right, let's give God some glory. Dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover this food with your blood, that it may bring nutrition to my body. Keep me, Lord, and cover me in all your blessings, Lord, and I ask you to do this thing for the viewers. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, y'all. How y'all been doing? I'm doing good. So, this mashed potato is cauliflower mesh, okay? And these breadsticks are, which I have bit, <laughs> is cauliflower breadsticks, y'all, okay? So, I got my fork and everything back here. I'm going to turn the plate like this so I can get to it because I'm ready to eat. Let's eat. Hope y'all been doing good because I am doing awesome. Okay, and I'm trying to be more. Look at the camera because they said, you know, kind of interact with your people. Let's put the mash over here. It still can be seen. Okay, we can slide this um, pork chop over here. Okay, got a fork and a knife. And we have God glory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. But y'all, I heard it's officially fall. So I got on a dark lip. Mm -hmm. So since it is fall, and um, I did my hair. Yes, I did. Y'all see it? I did me some little braid things, okay? I don't want to pee. I want that going back. So, we're going to eat, y'all. I know we're going to talk. How y'all been? Mmm. So, I'm sorry. Mm. Y'all can see that meat. So, y'all, I am doing so good. I am so happy. And, mmm. This is some cauliflower. I came on thick. Mmm. 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 And this is cauliflower too, y'all. That's amazing, huh? Mmm. I'm going to dip it in some honey. I mean, sugar-free syrup. And this go up. Mmm. 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 Very good. Okay, so y'all know I'm working now, and I am working in retail, and I had somebody from the girl family come up to me and tell me that they were a fan. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much, boo. His name was Dominique, I think. Y'all, if you're a fan, you know, I, I mean, if you've been watching, I don't want to say fan, if you family... And he said he was family, okay? He said he was family. No, he did say he was a fan, but I mean, I just told him thank you for the support. But I should have said, you family. But I was so glad he uh, came up to me, y'all. So his name was Dominique, I think. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that pork chop juicy. And no, it ain't dry. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 That's right. So thank you so much, Dominique. Love you. Mmm. 
<clears throat> hope to see you again. But I do have a bad memory, y'all. Baby. Baby. <laughs> mm. 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 This is good. So this is my dinner, y'all. Earlier I did a um what I eat in a day video. Um on that video this is my dinner y'all i try to eat kind of early because i didn't want to um i don't like to eat too late okay let me know baby i'm dropping weight like crazy i don't understand it because just last week I was like in like a very high carb cycle, which I only ate popcorn. So I still try to eat as healthy as I can, but I did have popcorn. I did have chips. We were stressing out because we thought the hurricane was going to come here. And I think that's what it was. Mm. I think when I stress, I think, all right, eat. Like, I don't know. I eat carbs, so I really don't know. I really don't. Oh, it could have been anything. Ooh, I'm getting full, y'all. But it's so good. Mmm. 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 Yeah, so I'm praying for New Orleans. I'm playing for, praying for La Place. I heard La Place, Louisiana. Got it so bad, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm full, y'all. Dang. I am. Try to finish my breakfast. Mm-hmm. 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 So I think now, since I, I'm full so fast, I think I'm going to put the mukbang into the what I eat in a day video. So when you hear me say that at the end of this video, when you see me eating this or whatever, mm, just know that's what I get. Because this video is only seven minutes. And I know I can't eat much more because I'm going to pop. But yeah, y'all. So I've been working and I've been meeting a lot of people. And be let me tell y'all a story quick. So before the hurricane, uh, a couple of days before the hurricane, like two days, when I finally realized there was another hurricane, and I know they supposed to have another one. Y'all, I never pay attention to stuff. Hardly ever. But anyway. So when I found out they was having another hurricane, of course, I um was kind of getting worried. So I was talking to a lot of people, my customers, as they came through the line. And a lot of them, you know, born and raised here. So they was like, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Not one person from Louisiana, mm, from Lafayette told me they was leaving. <laughs> Not one, y'all. They was like... I was like, are you leaving? No. Are you leaving? No. Nobody was leaving, y'all. Nobody was going to evacuate. Nobody was going to go anywhere. Uh, so I don't really know. Like, and then we ended up going to Lake Charles because when I woke up the next morning, it looked like it was coming straight to Lafayette and swerving towards New Orleans and all that. <clears throat> so I was like terrified, y'all, because you know, I must have 
PTSD or something, whatever you call it, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yes, PTSD from Hurricane Laura, and it, like, throwed me off. So, y'all, it, like, um, I'm just itching my head, y'all. But, um, and yes, I did these myself. Just something quick. I just threw it in my head, and I just did it myself. Y'all like it? They cute, though. Look at the ends. There's some little braids, crochet braids that I just put some little curly twists on. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So I was like, woke up Saturday and I was like kind of scared. So I called my sister and I asked her, you know, what should we do? Because I was terrified. You know what I'm saying? Because it looked like it was coming straight for Lafayette. So if it was coming here and it was going to hit Lake Charles too, I wanted to be my family. So she was like, I, it looked like it's coming straight for y'all. So she said, I would just come here and meet us. If we have to, we'll pack up and leave and go to Texas all together again. So I was like, okay. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> so, I woke my kids up. I said, y'all get ready. I'm supposed to go put some gas. We're going to go home to Lake Charles because uh, it's supposed to be coming here. So, my son was like, oh, Lord. So, we got up. We got on the road. It took us two and a half hours to get a one-hour distance to Lake Charles. I have read that some people were going to Texas. It took them 12 hours from New Orleans. Y'all, that's crazy. But the traffic was bumper to bumper, and then it would kind of like speed up a little bit, but then you would have to come to like a sudden stop because it was crazy. And I mean, this ain't my first rodeo, really. It's just like my second one that I really have been like responsible, grown person driving and all that. Um, hurricane wise, I'm, I'm just really, really, really paranoid. I'm really, really, really scary. I'm really, really like, like a, a scared child, like a person who have been to war and come out because last year was a living H-E-L-L -L for me. And I don't know, y'all. It's just so crazy. Um, after my husband, you know, first went through a hurricane and everything, lost everything, then my husband died, and then to go through another hurricane, it's just like right after that with Delta. And then we back though, we've been here now a year on an anniversary of us leaving for Laura. They have another hurricane that's hitting. So I'm like scared. I was like scared. I didn't know, but I tried to play brave and I was like, mm, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't leaving. Baby, when I, next morning when I woke up, honey, I was scared. Y'all had to go. Okay. I can't even take another bite. And I know this is an eating show, but y'all, I can't. I'm full. Okay. I be trying to do these eating shows and y'all wonder why I don't record. Um, I be full so quick. What's the point? Y'all want to look at me? I look so good. <laughs> Y'all look at my tattoo. It's looking so pretty on camera. With all them lights hitting it and stuff. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Did I do a thumbnail? I don't even think so. Kind of black the meat. <laughs> what an work. But yeah, so I have been like really stressing and scared about everything, y'all. But you know, it's just I'm so grateful to God that we didn't have to go and lose another home because we just got this home settled. But you know, as soon as they say go, you just leave everything. That is like living on edge. You know what I'm saying? So we constantly always have to live on edge and never know if we're gonna have to just leave everything behind and don't have and come back to nothing you know and i noticed how the people some people have even passed away y'all uh, with this hurricane like i've seen some videos yep i'm picking you know stuff stuff um some people have like passed away drowned and stuff because they stayed and then a lot of people had to go into their attic and needed to be rescued y'all it's just been crazy and I feel so bad for them, but Louisiana is strong. We have been doing this for years. The people in New Orleans, they, uh, them people was not going to leave. My niece boyfriend, his mom is an older lady from what I heard. I never met her, but he was going to come meet his girlfriend, which is my niece, but his mom, you know, and come down here and his mama didn't want to leave. So he did what any good son would do. He stayed with his mama. So he stayed with his mama. 
and I think that's like a good sign, but they lost lights though. From what I heard, they don't have no electricity, but they still out there. But honey, I don't know how they doing it. Cause it's be, it's hot with no lights. It's so freaking hot. It's like, as soon as the lights go off, boom. It's like, it's like a, um, a hot box. <laughs> For real. And I'm not even playing. I know. Cause staying for a little while with no lights. It's terrible. So think about if you have, they talking about three weeks for New Orleans. Mm -mm. And a young girl who go to school in New Orleans, she came back to work. She says she furloughed or something? I don't know. But she came back to work while she's out here with her family, while she's not at school. And she said they said three weeks with no lights out there mm -hmm. at the dorm. So, y'all, I love y'all so much. Um, I ain't doing nothing but jet running my mouth. Thank you again, Dominique, if that's your name, but you know who you are, for coming up to me. I love you. Thank you for supporting me. Y'all, these videos are so weird to me because I really don't eat a lot, but this is a healthy meal because this is hot cauliflower mash. This is a baked pork chop because I grilled it first and then I put it in the oven and I just grilled it with some olive oil spray. And oh, I showed y'all in my what I ate in the day video. <laughs> and then it's just some cauliflower breadsticks, which I only ate one, but that's I'm full. So I ate a lot of this, you know, a couple spoonfuls, and then I almost ate all my pork chop. Yeah. And that's all I'm eating for today. Okay, no snacking, no yogurt, no nothing. What y'all think? It's in my mouth. Oh. But I love y'all. I just love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed. And I want to address one thing before I get off of here. And I know a lot of people ain't going to make it to the end of this video, but I'm going to be messy real quick. I've been watching these mukbang cringe or cringe binge or something. Uh, I never knew people was using my videos other than box velocity T, but some people are mean, rude, and very, 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 uh, judgmental of other people. But why do y'all watch people content or why do people share the content and then don't even say nothing, but you, Oh, you can get, you want to use my videos, but then let the people be so rude and disgusting. Uh, this is the thing I got to say. A lot of people be like, Look like Cherise chewing with her tongue. She like tongue, her tongue. Oh, uh, honey, I didn't say I don't have no good teeth, okay? I didn't say my teeth is raggedy. I didn't say that uh, all back here, they're not in good shape, okay? So, and down here, as y'all can see, see, I don't have no good teeth. So, I'm chewing on what I got, okay? And the front ones, they just gone, okay? So, it looked like I'm chewing my tongue. Then I am, I guess. But why does that bother you? You know what I'm saying? That it's so bad that somebody chewed it. Some people might chew it. So she be like, <laughs> some people might chew it on the side. You know, I be trying to get the good teeth, trying to get a good bite in. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I do what I gotta do. You know, but I say like this: if you don't like my mukbangs, don't watch. Okay, sis. Bruh, whoever you is, who you is, messy behind a keyboard, messy behind the keyboard. I understand. Who I want to see what y'all looking like things over there behind the keyboard because if you're behind the keyboard You probably don't get up and wash your butt. You know what I'm saying? I would love to just meet some of y'all trashes But like y'all say, oh you put it on the internet. You right I do and I can take constructive criticism, but when I know you are hateful evil No good sorry stanky judgmental piece of trash that just deserve to be put in the trash I have no I have no need for you to even watch my content or even to comment on me but I'm just saying, you know, cringe that, okay? I really don't care. I just feel like saying that. I don't know, y'all. But anyway, I'll do another video to show y'all a little bit of something I'm eating. Because, honey, I don't be eating much. And I'm not going to eat much, okay? Because the numbers are growing and they're not depleting. They might be going real slow, like, 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 slow, like, nail. <laughs> but the race ain't giving to the swift, okay? It's giving to the... The ones who push on to the end. That's what I'm going to say. So, y'all always remember to dab on your haters and spark on them. And I will see y'all when the next time it's time to grow up. Bye, y'all.